Hey, good afternoon. Jason Phillips from Ottawa Bray's 1935 Ford Cabriolet. We're getting ready to take it for a test drive. Just finished up two, two and a half hour long inspection on the vehicle. Videoed results. Hit that brake pedal again, will you? You let off it? Hit it again. We got a right brake light and a dim a dim left. Can you check the headlights for me, please? It's hard to see them out here, but it does look like they are lighting. Are they on? Might be a little dim on the right. You got power to the fogs? Again? Thanks. Starting out first gear spin. Speedometer appears to be uh, turning. Triple diameter is turning? Uh, yep, it is. I'll take it down and back up again. It Sounds looks like good. it is. 84 8. 02407 on the odometer. Check it when we get back. Engine seems to run nice and smooth. Only noise I hear is a little bit of just rubber cushion uh, squeaking. Nothing unusual. Steering wheel doesn't appear to be uh, bouncing around. You want to do your hands off the wheel and brake thing again when we get up here? Yep. to the left. Doesn't feel too bad though? Nope. Can I take it back down to the shop or is that, yeah. uh, is that allowed? We're going to do a quick fire drill here. Park and brake is functioning. Amp meter is just below the center point at this stage. We're showing about a half a tank of fuel. I don't see an actual needle. Whoops, don't see an actual needle on the oil pressure gauge. Don't know if there's one there or not. 
odometer still in the same place, so I guess the odometer's not turning. Car is generating power though. Uh, temp gauge is a little hard to read. Looks okay. We'll do a digital shot on our way back. Would you mind holding that right there? Thanks. Clutch engage is real nice off the floor, about two inches. Seems to shift nice. Letting off the gas while I'm in second gear. Shifter's not popping out. Third gear, nice. I got my hands off the wheel right now. The car seems to track down the road wherever you turn the wheel to, pretty straight. I'm doing about 35 miles an hour. I'm gonna break with my hands off the wheel right now. And we got a slight draw to the left front. Probably could stand a little bit of an adjustment. Very little uh, suspension rubber noise, which uh, doesn't seem doesn't seem like a big issue. Brakes feel good. Say on a dime, but stops on ten dimes, right? <laughs> Not gonna be able to drop back down to first. I don't think you want to get caught in the rain with these wipers. They, uh, they may operate some. I'm not sure exactly how to run them. We'll <clears throat> look that over momentarily. Vacuum pressure built up, there we go. Nice. We'll do a digital temp read here in just a minute. Uh, fuel gauge appears to be about half a tank. We might have used a little bit up there. And I did notice, even though the trip is not turning, that uh, we, did, we did manage to put almost two miles on the car. 2409, I think we were at 2407 to begin. Tune in some hot AM stations. I did hear a click. I saw a new speaker down there, so somebody might have serviced that radio. We'll see if it warms up in a bit. I'm pretty sure I hear Gilligan and the skipper. We do a quick wrap up. The engine's been running for about 15 minutes total now maybe 17 minutes. We're about 180. That's a, that's a nice place to be. 170, 180. No excessive uh, fuel leaking to be noted. Oil was clean and in good shape all the way up to the full mark. Underneath the vehicle we don't appear to have any leakage issues earlier video showed that the suspension could clean up nicely. Brakes and front end suspension work are all in good shape. That earlier video also showed magnetics, uh, magnetic adhesion along the bottom of the floor pans and the body itself and the bottom of the running boards. All solid steel body. The 
top folded down nicely. I did that all by myself. We got a little bit of. We should be saving. Got a little bit of wear on the uh, seat surface. Nothing really substantial to write home about. Just a little bit of general wear, in, uh, including some heel marks when you come in and out of the car. Rubber mat has a few little separation cracks in it from age. The original gauge faces have aged pretty nicely. Knobs are showing some wear, but interior wise, the components were all repainted and just some typical contact chips. Uh, a lot of the common things you see in a 30s model vehicle. Reflective quality of the paint again is uh, very nice. The car's reflection you're seeing is about three to four feet away and uh, no real color differentiation panel to panel. Looks like it was done very nice at the time of execution. Rumble seat compartment is in uh, good shape. A few small chips pointed out in earlier uh, videos, a couple cracks and scratches, but generally a very, very good looking, showable driver quality vehicle. All frame off. Engine has indications that it was rebuilt. All the flat glass was replaced. And although there's no needle apparent in the uh, oil uh, gauge, it doesn't appear that the car sounds like it has any uh, oil issues. Little burn through on the edge of the door there in the paint. Jam's in good shape. And it seems to drive down the road in a uh, healthy way as you would expect a mid-30s Ford convertible to drive. Reassigned Illinois VIN. Chrome was all done probably at the time of restoration. A little bit of patina here and there. No real heavy pitting to be noted. Uh, the chrome could probably polish up to a much nicer condition than what it's currently in with a little bit of elbow grease. Don't see any large mechanical issues that need to be dealt with at this time. Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise, I'm wrapping up about a three hour long pre-purchase inspection all done by video. Uh, this is the second of two videos, the other one more comprehensive showing the underbody and all the small details up close. If you need service like this, give us a call 800-301-3886, 300 inspectors nationwide. Uh, not everybody can do the videos, but we'll give you a written report and uh, lots of photos. Thanks a bunch. Super cool 35 Ford Deluxe Cabriolet, June 1st, 2016. Thanks again.